like a really curvy wavy thing right now and I don't like it. It's like it's really curly and wavy. Oh my gosh, like I dropped off, um, I'm trying to think of like some funny jokes to say to cheer myself up and everyone else because, um, yeah, I just felt like it. Um, and wanted to have more content on this channel. Uh, I, don't, I might do singing videos, I might not, I'm, I'm still not sure yet. Um, I was, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna say a few jokes. Okay, so, I don't know if you ever got into Disney. I never knew him, so I could never get into him. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad joke. That was a bad joke. I liked it, though. I, th I thought it was pretty clever. Anyways, so, um, yeah, so, I, I, I've never been to Disney World, or if I did, I don't remember, because I was that young. And so I, I just remember being on a monorail, and then I went on the actual monorail. No, that was really stupid. That wasn't it. Anyways, so um, yeah, I thought I'd try uh, doing some, saying some jokes. Um, you know that book I asked everyone about that I didn't know? No one gave me an answer back on like what book it was. Like I found this old book in my house. And I think it was my been like a book of my dad's or my mom's, and you know, like it's always like because like my um I I found it and it looked like it would be like maybe a collector's item or something, but I cannot watch I cannot stand Antiques Roadshow and I like antiques, but that show was kind of boring. Maybe if they added more like graphics, maybe maybe if they added more like you know like like colorful colors in the background or something to make it more visually appealing for someone like me who has a very short attention span and so my um anyways my <laughs> I can't I can't say this it's, it's uh, something personal but I was gonna say um you know it's it's very I was gonna say um it's very, you know, it's very fitting, wasn't, um, the, I mean, it was kind of sad, like, they had the, um, they had the, uh, there was, like, some uproar over, like, the Little Mermaid being a black chick, but wasn't Ursula purple? Wasn't Ursula purple, and she was, like, in the bottom of the sea, and she was fat, no one fat shamed Ursula, because they were afraid of that bitch, they were, like, afraid of her. And so it's very fitting she was an octopus because she's a big p pussy. <laughs> anyways, um, I thought she was anyways. Because she never really, she, she was like all by herself singing all the time. By herself and then King Trident. Which is very interesting by the way. A very clever Disney. He has a trident so you just name him King Trident or is that what I just called him when I was younger? It's very, like, and then Captain Hook, I have a theory that Captain Hook, the reason why he's so mad is because everyone keeps reminding him of his disability. <laughs> because they keep saying Captain Hook. And then if, if, if you had a little brat named Peter Pan following you around everywhere, and, and then, you know, I'm surprised, like, I'm surprised no one's, like, taking Peter Pan to school. How old is Peter Pan? Like, 18? Did he drop out of high school? Did Peter Pan, like, drop out of high school or did he fly out the window? <laughs> did he say, did Peter Pan go, like, did he, like, go fly into, like, his room and fly into, like, his math classroom and be like, you know what, Mrs., Mrs., um, Mrs. Jones? And then she's like, what? And then he just looks at her and he just starts, like, flying. And then he's like, I don't like this place. Like, I am just gonna get myself out of here. Oh, my gosh. If you wear the, so you, like, you look so much better if you wear that shawl, Mrs. Jones. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine if, if that they made a comedy about Peter Pan and he was gay? Could you? I wouldn't be surprised because usually theater kids are, I don't want to say gay, but sometimes gay kids are in the theater. I, I kind of regret not being in theater when I was growing up because... I used to be in choir and I remember like, I remember someone, well, my uh, choir instructor, she was like, she goes like this, she's like, not like this, because that would be weird if she just was like, <laughs> and talking like me. Anyways, so I was standing and we were, after we are done singing, she's like, someone was flat, someone was really flat here, and then I looked down, and oh, that was just a stupid joke, <laughs> but I, then I was like, how did, like, anyways, that was just stupid, I just forget I said it. Anyways, um... Let's see. Something funny, something funny. Um, I like how on like kids' cereal boxes the animals look so happy and they're always alone. Isn't that really sad? Like they're always so happy and they're like always alone and they're always smiling. 
and uh, they had, um, yeah, like, like I went to the grocery store recently with my boyfriend and we're picking up some snacks and they had Teddy Grahams and they had like a bear on them, but like a smaller bear. And I'm like, that is so good. They don't have like the, like that is good advertising because the bear looks friendly, but it's bad in real life. Like it's interesting how that works. Usually it's just like, <sighs> you know, like, you, like it's very, I'm just glad they're the Charmin bears not on there because that would be like really bad advertising. And then it was just like with the toilet paper and they're just like, um, yeah, I think someone in marketing messed up the, messed up the Teddy Grahams. We have better go talk to that guy. You know, he's new on the job. We have, we better like give a, like a little talk to him, have a little talk, you know? Anyways, I've never did stand up, I never done stand up comedy. Um, I remember, um. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something funny to say. I remember once I was in the bathroom, st I know the bathroom stall, doing you know what, and there was a <laughs> little kid, and he like stuck his head underneath the bottom of the stall, and he looked up at me, and I was so got so mad at him that I threw a, a roll of toilet paper at him. Although one time I will say a funny joke that actually did happen though, and that actually did happen to me too. But th I, when I was in college, I had this um, I had this um. I had this thing, I because we had like a like a thing where you stay overnight or something during the, the um, orientation. That's the word I was looking for. Orientation. I've heard it before. I, I was in school before. I should know what that means. Anyways, so during orientation in my college, um, I brought like my like self care items, you know, for my face and everything. So then like overnight, and then I was getting ready the next day, and I was washing my face, and I and like I brought my bag to the bathroom because. At the time, I was on my period, and I had the, like, the, I, I don't know why I didn't bring a purse. My purse broke or something, so I brought, like, a little bag or something. And this was, like, on short notice, so I didn't have time to get a new one. Anyways, I'm, like, I'm rambling too much. I'm way, ram rambling way too damn much. Sorry. Anyways, as I was saying, so, um, <laughs> as I was saying, so, anyways, so then I'm in the bathroom stall, and I had to go to the bathroom really bad. So then I rushed to the bathroom, but I didn't want anyone to steal my bag off of the counter, you know, where the sink is, where you wash your hands in the girls' bathroom. Girls, you know what I'm talking about, right? So you're washing your hands in the sink, and then, uh, you, like, and there's, like, a spot, like, above the sinks where you can, like, set down stuff. Well, I didn't want to leave my bag in there because I'm very, like, suspicious of other people. I don't know, which is practically, like, 99.9 .9 of, like, everyone else in the world. <laughs> anyway, so... I, I, just, I, didn't, I didn't want anyone to steal my stuff, so I, I grabbed it with me to the bathroom, and as I was, like, going to, into the stall, the, like, a, like, a freak accident happened. Not, nothing, not in my pants, not in my pants or anything, but not to me, but, like, I went to take the soap, and it slipped out of my hand, and it fell into the toilet. <laughs> my soap for my face, it fell into the toilet. And I was like, oh no. And then I was like looking around, like not knowing what to do. I was like, and then the, I was the only one in the bathroom, luckily, or maybe not luckily, because I literally didn't know what to do. And I was just like, <laughs> you know, like, and I was looking around and like, I'm not going to say what happened because like, but it was just really funny. It was like, 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 like slipping on a banana peel kind of thing. Like you don't think it's actually going to happen until it happens to you. Like I fall, like I fall just like walking up the stairs sometimes. Like I was walking up the stairs once and... <laughs> And my, um, my, uh, I slipped because I was, I was walking too fast up the stairs and I slipped and I felt like one of those like little ladies in the commercial, help me, I fall and I can't get up. But, but instead it's like me and I'm just like, that. no one would feel sorry for me if I, like, I, I fell up the stairs. Like if I was like, not an older lady, but if I was like the way I am now and still the way I am now and I was walking up the stairs, I would just like. People would just like, in real life, people wouldn't, they would just like stare at me. They wouldn't want to help me up. I remember, oh my gosh, this is really funny too. Like, oh, and then, um, um, and, uh, I, uh, when I was back in college, there was this girl and we were in groups in college and then randomly, like, my shoe was untied. So before I could like say, I'm like, oh, I better tie my shoe. And I said it out loud. And then before I could reach down to tie my shoe, some chick who was in the same group of me in college she looks at my shoe and she bends down and she ties my shoe for me. And I didn't even tell her to. She tied my shoe for me. My shoelaces. She tied my shoelaces for me. And I was just like... And I, but I didn't stop her because, like, what she was going. Like, I'm not going to stop her. You know what I mean? She's tying my shoe. I don't want to get on her bad side. 
you know what I mean? What else might she do? Like, my homework or something? Oh, I should have got her number. Then I could have, like, paid her to do my homework or something. No, I'm kidding. Isn't that, like, like, grade school, middle school stuff? In college, you don't really, like, want to be known as the kid who does everyone's papers. Because you, like, you have, like, a bunch of papers. Like, like, oh my gosh. Like, could you imagine if someone, like, had a bunch of papers and then they, like, walked into his library and then some guy was, like, sitting at a printer and then they just kind of looked at him and then he was just like, yeah, I'm the guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> that was just a bad joke. I didn't even finish it. <laughs> that was, and, like, I just got nervous. That's why I didn't finish it. But, like, it would be bad to be known as the guy who, like, does everyone's homework in college because then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it would just be bad. Like, like you'd have to stay up all night. And in college, you have to write, like, longer papers than you do in high school, usually, most of the time. And so, um, anyways. So, yeah. Um, I never really went to any, like, wild parties or anything or Mardi Gras in high school. Well, that's good, because, like, that's, like, really weird for, like, someone in high school to know about Mardi Gras when you don't even live in, like... And Louisiana. Is it's in Louisiana, right? Is that where Mardi Gras is? And um what else was I gonna say? I uh I'm trying to think of what else funny to say, something funny, something funny. Oh, I called I called my boyfriend mom again. Not not mom again. That would be weird. Mom again, mom again. <laughs> but um I accidentally, because, like, he was teasing me, and my mom teases me sometimes, so subconsciously, like, right away, I was like, Mom! So I looked at my boyfriend, <laughs> my poor boyfriend, I was like, I was like, Mom! And I looked at him, and I said that to him, and then he just, he just started laughing, <laughs> and I felt so bad. And then I started laughing, I was, like, laughing and apologizing at the same time, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to say that to you. Not to you! Anyways, and then... And then I called my mom babe once. <laughs> and she looked at me. <laughs> she just looked at me and she's like, like, are you okay, Melissa? Are you okay? It was really funny. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't want to talk too long. I hope you thought it was funny a little bit. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed yourself as I did as I did too. And that was weird. Sometimes when I get nervous, I talk really fast and I go over my words. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. Have an awesome day.